West of Eden, Similan Island Sites Guide. West of Eden is one of the best sites in the Similan Islands. It combines huge granite rock formations with the softness of a huge coral garden. This site is a beautiful example of how monsoons and strong ocean currents from the west can shape the marine environment. You can learn more about the difference between the dive sites in the west and in the east on this page. From east to west the contrast. West of Eden Overview West of Eden is located west of Similan Island No. 7, with only neighbor the vastness of the Andaman Sea. The main attraction of this site is this great canal, covered on both sides by huge gorgonians. This site is ideal for seeing ribbon moray eels, mantis shrimps or even antennas. Huge boulders of granite are a major feature of the sites west of the Similan Islands. These impressive formations contrast with the sloping coral reefs found on the east side. But why do the dive sites in the east and west of the Similans Islands have such a difference in their topography? Features of West of Eden, other names Sea Fan City, Rental Eel Similan Sept, Minimum Level Scuba Diver, Depth 7 meters to 28 meters, Visibility 10 meters to 30 meters. Current none to strong, accessibility cruise and a trip. Key points like all dive sites in the western Similan Islands. West of Eden is primarily a site made up of large rock formations. Large canyons, interesting formations and passages in the shallow end. You will find a mooring line in the bay to the south. It is possible to dive only in this part but there is so much more to see going down a little deeper. Between 20 meters to 30 meters, the site has healthier corals and a wide variety of fish species. For beginners, the bay to the south is a good starting point for novice divers. Shallow water and usually very calm conditions will allow for easy submersion. You can still use the anchor line to make your descent. Once you are comfortable, you can head north towards the bigger rocks. Be careful to always keep an eye on your depth. Some of these rocks can lead to steep drop-offs. For experiments if possible, it is best to dive west of Eden in Nitrox. Indeed, there are some beautiful areas located below 25 meters which ideally require a little time to explore them properly. After leaving the canal, swim north for about 100 meters. Then walk along the rocks until you reach 30 meters. You will see beautiful colorful sea fans and a few sponges. The sand in this part seems to be a popular hiding place for antennae, ribbon mores, or mantis shrimp. West of Eden in depth do not miss the Grand Canal is a great place to start your dive. You can find different types of shrimp, including the full-time resident harpoon mantis shrimp. Gorgons line the walls generously. At the exit of this channel take a good look at the neighboring coral heads the mores are always ready for a frenzy game of hide and seek. The area around this canyon is often the most memorable part of your dive. Topography large blocks of granite forming canyons and strangely shaped passages. A coral garden for a note of sweetness. This charismatic site will not leave you indifferent. Further information conditions west of Eden is generally fairly calm, but given its location wind and waves can sometimes be present. The current can be quite strong in the northern part of the site. Your dive will then turn into a drift dive. Further information photography while sea fans and rocks are great for the wide angle. This is the Similan Island site where you'll find the most macro. This is the perfect example of Thailand's immense diversity of marine life. The right diversion tip if there is current. You may have less time to explore the interesting areas but you will have so much fun that it is not a problem in itself. Due to its shape, currents heading north always seem stronger than those heading south. Immerse yourself at the anchor line located in the southern bay. From there, let yourself be carried over the rock formations and coral gardens, a unique sensation. Watch the coral unfold under your fins. It is possible that tuna and trevally will disturb your vision.
Thank you.